I'm Captain Byatt with UAPI Auto Parts. And that means what to me? <laughs> well, I understand, Jerry, people are interested in what goes on when you shoot in a car, shoot out of a car, shoot glass, shoot through the door panels, things like that. So UAPI Auto Parts brought you something to demonstrate. You gonna let me shoot at it? I'm gonna let you shoot it as much as you want. Do what I want? You betcha. What I want? Yes, sir. And how I want? All you want. And we're gonna get some. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna kind of give you an overview of what we're gonna do here. This is kind of relating back to a story I was told by a law enforcement officer who actually had to discharge his 357 Magnum revolver inside of an automobile with the windows up, three rounds, permanent hearing damage. So we're going to re kind of recreate that scenario. I've got a sound meter here. We're going to put it on the outside. It only goes up to 130 decibels. But what we have on the inside here, we've got a, a setup. We're going to put different caliber handguns and we've got some rifles we're going to shoot also. It ought to be fun. We got like five or six different calibers and we're going to take it to the extremes as usual and we're going to have fun. Okay guys, the first firearm we have set up is a K22 revolver, some high speed 22 long rifle hollow points. We've got a sound meter on the outside of the glass. We've got the high speed camera going. We put a little flower in the, on the board in front of it and on the headrest kind of get an idea if you see any flower puff, maybe the noise transmission or just the uh, concussion of the muzzle blast. So, we're going to go with the 22 here, guys. First one, here we go. Three, two, one. Ah, let's go look. Okay, we fired a 22 long rifle high speed ammunition and it registered 102.4 decibels on the outside of the glass. So, that's pretty intense, even on the outside. So, we're going to kick it up ahead. We've got a 3 inch 357 Magnum with Hornady 140 grain Magnum ammunition at 1,440 feet a second. So we're going to rig it in the fixture here and pop this thing off and see what we get. Okay, everybody, this is the firearm I was telling you about. The officer had to discharge three times inside of a sedan. It's a 357 Magnum, three inch barrel. And this is full bore ammunition. It's 140 grain at 1,440 feet a second. So we're going to kind of get a little bit more exciting here. So let's see what we got here, guys. You ready to do it? Three, two, one. Oh, I saw some flower jumping on the dash. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, that 357 really made a mark there. Uh, it was 117.2 decibels, a lot louder on the outside. And you can tell by the visual on the inside, the flower on the headrest and the dash and the front of the muzzle, of course, all had a pretty good little fluff going to it. So we're going to make it bigger and better, guys. We've got a two and a half inch Magnaport three, uh, 44 Magnum. Take that back, 44 Magnum. And this is a 225 grain flex tip bullet at 1,410 feet a second out of a two and a half inch. This ought to up the ante a little bit. Okay, we've upped the ante here, guys. We've got a 44 Magnum, two and a half inch full throttle 225 grain bullets at 1450 feet a second so it ought to sound good let's see how loud it's going to be here we go three two one oh we had a little dust going that time nice Okay, that's kind of interesting. The 44 was a little quieter than that 357 Magnum at a 115.7. So that's kind of interesting. So we're going to get that little pop gun out of there. We're going to shoot a real revolver. We're going to see how loud we can make it happen. Okay, everybody, we're going to up it a little bit more. We got a Smith & Wesson 460 Magnum, 200 grain Hornady doing 2200 feet a second. So about all you ever want to shoot inside of a car, I would think. So let's see what it sounds like. You ready to do it? Three, two, one. Oh, I saw a little fire. <laughs> okay, the reason I chose a 460 instead of a 500 Smith & Wesson, you get more into rifle category here. You get more velocity, 2,000, 2,200 feet a second. So 200 grain bullet. And it registered a 121.3 on our little, little uh, meter here on the outside. As you can see by the dust, 
that it kicked up, brutal loud on the inside. The hatch in the back actually moved, so it's a lot of concussion. That's something you want to consider when you choose a defensive gun. Should you have to shoot it in a confined area, things happen. So we're going to try to up it a little bit. We're going to shoot a short barrel 223 Remington 55 grain FMJ load inside of a closed car. See what kind of concussion we get out of that. Hey guys, I've got my AR pistol in there with 55 grain ball ammo. So a lot of pressure, a lot of velocity, and let's see what it does. You ready to do it? Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, that kind of made the flower jump. Yeah. Okay guys, give you an idea on the noise level, 118.3. But you can see the concussion effect inside the vehicle with the flower it really raised a little bit of a dust storm in there a lot of concussion a lot of chamber pressure a lot of velocity it has to go somewhere so it goes right in your hearing so kind of interesting but we're going to up it another notch okay guys you notice that the 556 five, round made quite a concussion but we're going to up it a little bit we've got a 762 by 51 i've got an m p 10 semi-auto in there with a 147 grain nato round so it's about all you can do with one. So let's go ahead and see what this will sound like. All right, ready to do it? Three, two, one. Oh, pull the string off. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at our little sound meter. It's a 119.8. That's pretty, pretty vigorous. You can see by the dash and the flower on the seats and in front of it, a lot of concussion going on in there. You wouldn't want to be sitting in that vehicle, but I know what you're thinking. Bigger has to be better. We got the grand finale coming. Okay, we got the grand finale here. We got a 50 BMG uh, short barrel, 50, uh, 660 grain ball ammo inside of a vehicle, shooting through the windscreen at a bad guy, a moment you never want to have so let's see what that looks like. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, got him. That's always a lot of fun, guys. Big guns, what can I say? Uh, 123.7 on our little decibel meter there. And what's kind of interesting is it took all the flour and rearranged it that we had all, all over the dash and on the back of the headrest. A lot of violent concussion. It still smells of uh, whew, burnt plastic. But you can see it knocked some of the, some of the molding down. And what's, inter what's interesting, when that... Uh, Full metal jacket round, even though it has a metal core in it, when it hit that glass, you saw how the glass spewed out in an angle, and that bullet keyhole three quarters of a way already, just within a couple of feet. So anytime you have an object close to the muzzle, it really affects the way the projectile is going to act. It wants to deflect it even more the closer it is. The bullet's not sleeping yet, and that's an old term from black powder shooters. They found that out way back when they shot black powder at 1,000 yards. It takes a couple of hundred yards in a black powder gun for the bullet to actually go to sleep and go in a straight line. And apparently that 50 cal, not quite sleeping yet at about six inches from the muzzle. So <laughs> kind of interesting. Made a big, a big hole in the berm. Of course, a key hole in 50 caliber when it hits mud, makes a big splash. So all in all, kind of a good day on the range and we got some.